What's the surface area of a pyramid? This pyramid has a square base and each of its slanted faces is a triangle. To find its surface area, we need to find the areas of all its faces. The area of this square is 4 times 4 that is 16 square units and the area of each of the triangles is half times base times height that is 10 square units. So together their areas add up to 56 square units and that's the surface area of this pyramid. Take any regular polygon, if we connect all its vertices to a point directly above its center, we get a regular pyramid. These are all regular pyramids. By the way, the combined areas of all these slanted faces is called the lateral surface area. Can we arrive at a formula to find it? The lateral surface of any pyramid is made up of triangles as many as the number of sides of its base. Like this pentagonal pyramid has five equal triangles. The area of each triangle is half times its base times its height and its lateral surface area is the sum of all their areas. Let's add them. Since it is a regular pyramid, the height of each triangle must be the same. We can factor out half times height in this sum. Now the sum of all these bases is just the perimeter of the pyramid's base. So we get the lateral surface area of a pyramid as half times the perimeter of the base times height. By the way, this height is called the slant height of the pyramid. Now let's measure the slant height of this pyramid and the perimeter of its base. And plug in the values. We get its lateral surface area as 37.5 square units. Now how about a cone? Can we find its surface area? Unlike a pyramid, this one has a curved surface. But let's think this way. If we keep increasing the number of sides of a regular polygon, it will eventually turn into a circle. Similarly, if we keep increasing the number of sides of the pyramid's base, the lateral surface will eventually turn into this curved surface and its base becomes a circle. So you can think of a cone as a pyramid with infinitely many triangular faces. And we can apply the same formula to find its lateral surface area, that is, half times the slant height times the perimeter of the base. The perimeter of its base is equal to the circumference of the circle. So, the lateral surface area of the cone must be half times 2 pi r times l, that is pi r l. And if we need to find its total surface area, we'll add the area of the base circle to this to get pi r l plus pi r squared. Now, can you find the total surface area of this cone with slant height 5 units and the base radius as 3 units? Let us know in the comments.